variables have a scope and the scope refers to the life of the variable and where it lives where it's accessible so we have local variables and global variables and so far in reality the variables we've created have been global variables because we've created them outside of any functions they are simply in our structured approach that we've been using but now that we're starting to utilize developer defined functions or our custom functions we need to be aware of scope so what i have in this program here is a function called global check and i'm going to print global check the value of x equals whatever the value of x is but in this case x resides in my main program or my structured program outside of any functions and because i declared here x as 10 in my main program it's treated as a global variable so i'm going to call global check and when i do that global check can actually access the x because it's a global variable and then when i come back i'm going to print it from the main program here so let me just run this and what we're going to see is the same value and what we see is the same value printed twice so it prints global x equals 10 and main x equals 10. so it's accessing our value of x in both locations however the global variable is only accessible from a read only standpoint if i try to change this and say x plus equals 5 i'm going to add 5 to x and i'm going to run my program again i get an error and the error is that local variable x referenced before assignment so when it gets to this statement here it sees this x and it treats that x as a local variable rather than a global variable because i haven't told this i haven't told python in this definition x is a global variable it treats it as a second x what i need to do is to declare x as a global variable so i'm going to reference it in my def my function as global x i'm going to tell it that global i want to use the global x that's this one down here so then when i try to add 5 to x it'll be acceptable and we see i get 10 and now i get 15 because it's adding 5 to x before it does the print main statement but let me show you one more thing here i'm going to take this global x out and say x equals 20. and now let me run this and notice what we get here global check x equals 20 main x equals 10. so what happened here was i declared x up here and assigned it a value of 20 and this x is a local x it is local to global check to that function it only lives in this function and so it's printing global check x equals in this case 20 not the 10 from here my x plus equals 5 sets the local to 25 but we never see anything happen with that because we don't return it and we come down here and we print main this x in the main program or our structured program is the x equals 10 and that's what we get so we have a global x here but we also have a local x here okay let's make a couple more changes i'm going to go back to what i originally started with where i was just simply printing x as a global variable but i want to put our x equals 10 inside of a main function so i'm going to create def main and i'm going to indent these three statements under main so they're now occurring in main and then i'm going to call my main function i'm going to run this and i'm getting another error here if x is not defined so once again i have x defined in main but because i defined this in a function it's no longer a global x it's a local x and so on this global check the local x does not exist nor does a global x exist for it to reference well how do i fix that well one thing i can do is i can declare x as a global value so here global x 
x equals 10. I cannot say global x equals 10. I have to do this on two separate lines. Let me run this. And now it works. It's recognizing that x is exists as a global variable. However, once again, if I say x plus equals 5 to add 5 to it, and I run that, now I'm getting an error because it's not treat, seeing x as a local variable. I didn't create a local x. I can't modify the global x without telling Python that I want to modify the global x. So what I can do here is also make this a global x and run this again. And now x is 10 here is coming across as my global x. I'm adding 5 to it. And then down here, I'm printing it the global x again, but now it's 15 because I added 5 to it up here. What subprogrammers will do is create the x outside of any function, and they'll either do it up here at the top or before the main. And I'm going to declare global x. I'm just going to say x. And once again, I'm going to comment out these two lines of my global x plus 5. So now I've created x outside of my main function. Let me run this. And I get 10 in both cases because x is now a global variable being all the way over here to the left. It's outside of any function. It treats or recognizes the global x here and recognizes the global x here. If I recognize the if I if I declare x as global in my global check and then add 5 to it and run that now I'm getting my 10 5 to it and my 15 Now just to, to let you know a lot of python programmers don't like to use global variables period So let me show you how a lot of programmers would do this I'm going to come back to x being declared as 10 locally inside of my main function. And then I'm going to pass it x. And I'm going to receive x as the parameter. And it's OK to have the same variable name being passed and being received. I usually try to avoid that. So I might make this a y and then format y. I'll do this both ways. And then I'm going to go ahead and add x, add 5 to x. It's going to add 5 to my local x here that's being passed this value of x. I'll add 5 to it, and then I'm going to return x. And so since I'm returning a value, I need to set global check element x being assigned back to x. So let's watch what happens here. I'm getting my 10 and a 15. So x is 10, I pass 10 to this local x, it prints 10, adds 5 to it, returns the 15 back to my local x in main, and that's what gets printed. And I didn't use any global variables, they're all local. By the way, just as I mentioned, I normally don't like to use the same variable. We could make these all y's. And I'll still say it's printing the value of x because that's the value that's coming from here. And I'll run this. And I get the same thing. So x, the value of x here is going into the value of y. And then the value of y being changed is being returned. And that value of y, the new y, of 15, is being assigned back to x. So that's a little look into global variables when you use them or how to avoid them by just transferring values between functions in a calling statement and a return. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.